Hi, it's your Auntie Carlson here again, and today we're going back to the Scream Factory catalog. This branch of Shout Factory redistributes, remasters, and reissues a lot of classic horror and sci-fi movies. And today we're taking a look at a cult classic from the early 2000s, one that I hadn't seen prior to picking up this disc. The movie we're looking at today is Bubba Hotep. This one stars Ossie Davis and Bruce Campbell. We're going to unbox this release, and I'll share my opinions. Nice close-up there. You got you know, Bruce Campbell playing Elvis Presley. That's worth the price of admission alone right there. Here's our spine text. Back cover. About what you'd expect here. Critic quotes, legalese, credits, description of the film, special features. That comes off. Underneath we have... Pretty much the same thing underneath. Inside the case we have our 4K disc as well as a Blu-ray copy of the film that also includes the bulk of the bonus features. I'll read a description of the film as follows from the package. Bruce Campbell gives his greatest and most entertaining performance to date as an aging and cantankerous Elvis in this zinger-filled crowd pleaser from writer-director Don Coscarelli. When mysterious deaths plague a Texas retirement home, it's up to the most sequined senior citizen to take on a 3,000-year-old Egyptian mummy with a penchant for cowboy boots, bathroom graffiti, and sucking the souls from the barely living. Just from that description, you can see how absurd and ridiculous a movie that is. But that's why Bubba Hotep works. I mean, you have Bruce Campbell playing an aging Elvis who's actually still alive in a retirement home, in the twilight of his life, having lost many of his friends and family and contacts. And pretty much the only guy who ever listened to him is a black man in the retirement home who seems to think that he's JFK. Again, just goes to show how ridiculous this story is. You could have had a story like this without even having the supernatural elements, and it would have made for a blisteringly funny comedy, but you have this Egyptian curse that comes to the retirement home, sucking the souls of the living, and you have to see the king and a black man who thinks he's JFK stepping up to the occasion. And again, it's every bit as funny as you would expect. Bruce Campbell is always hilarious. Most people, of course, know him for the Evil Dead series and, of course, making appearances in Sam Raimi's other films. And this one, I don't know how I managed to miss this the first time around because it is a hilarious film that absolutely delivers on its absurd premise. If you like comedies and you're not afraid of you know, R-rated movies, I think this one will be right up your alley. I'm happy to say that the 4K release from Scream Factory of Bubba Hotep actually looks very nice. Plenty of scenes in this movie do take place at night and in the dark, and so you get that expected boost. For being this relatively low-budget, independent film of sorts, I'm really happy to say that it did turn out very nice. I've seen a lot of, you know, major releases from major studios that looked far worse than this. And it's great to see Scream Factory gave this one the care that it needed. There are a ton of bonus features. The only features that are on the 4K are the commentary tracks. But as you can see, if you're a fan, you'll certainly be busy for a while. I certainly fell in love with Bubba Hotep. It's an absurd, obscure, bizarre movie. But it features Bruce Campbell doing what he does best, taking on one of his most ambitious and outright hilarious projects. So, very high recommendations for this one. Have you seen Bubba Hotep before? What do you think of this film? Do you think it's Bruce Campbell's greatest performance? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.